Okay, this is my rig update. Um, I promise I'll do a video of me trying to, well, basically an overview of me fitting my water block. And this is what you get in the case. You just basically you get thermal paste, thermal pads, and some screws and some washers, and the guide, obviously. Um, here's the water block itself and here it is my XFX reference R9290 I'm going to be fitting this water block to this card in an effort really just to reduce the temps and to um, reduce the noise as well because they are, the cooler is pretty loud um, currently uh, my R9290 max overclock He's 1100 on a core and 1550 megahertz on the memory. Hopefully, by installing this water block, I can increase that. Um, here's a picture of what the card, I mean, the water block looks like on the other side. Okay, step one is telling me I have to remove 16 screws from the back of the card. So, that will be the first step. So, I'm going to go ahead and remove all 16 screws okay so that's all the screws removed and the retention bucket removed as well and the next thing I have to do is literally just um, gently ease the PCB off the, the cooler and then I can start fitting thermal pads so there's, there it is, there's the naked PCB um, last step now is just to remove the, the fan cable and after that I can start cleaning up the the RAM chips with all the leftover glue and I can start cleaning up the CPU the GPU core as well with all the leftover thermal paste and once that's done I can cut and place all the new thermal pads I didn't end up using all the new thermal pads. I decided to use the um, the thermal pads for the memory, which was already on the reference heatsink because they're already cut to size and they do a good job. Um, I did use the thermal pads which came with the water block for the MOS for the VRM areas. Though um, the long grey strip at the back is for the VRM one area, I think, and so I had to cut that to fit and place it over and um, there's also another VRM area which I had to address and that's on the top left of the card and um, you have to cut it in a kind of a up, upside down T shape so I had to cut the thermal pads to fit that area as well now literally all I have to do is apply thermal paste and place the line the block up and uh, put the screws in okay so this is the block fully fitted now um, I attached to 90 degree angle um, um, barbs at the top because those are the connections I use to uh, connect it to my water system alright guys I did promise I'd do some sort of rig update um, this is the Cooler Master Cosmos S full tower case I uh, bought this case so I could mount my 360 radiator to the top of the case and just keep my water loop just a, a little bit cleaner and just a bit more safe from dust I have, if I come around to the front sorry about the camera, I'm using my iPhone and it's the best I've got uh, I've got the XSPC combination of the reservoir and pump so it fits in a 5 and a quarter inch bay and um, below that I've got a Blu-ray and DVD rewrite, nothing special there. Now, what you're really interested in is what's inside, and I recently just completed putting a water block on my um, XFX R9290. Okay, so inside the case we have a 360 radiator mounted to the top in pull push configuration you can't see the other banker fans but that's on top of the case 
um, we've got also got the uh, XFX R9290 reference card which I've just installed a water block on now it's annoying I don't know why manufacturers do this but they literally have the coolest part of the card facing down I mean I wish they made the cards in reverse so the cooler would be facing up that way you'd be able to see it but obviously that's just the way things are um, this is my Corsair AX 860 power supply the platinum efficient rating platinum efficient rating um, this is my uh, excess PC uh, water kit it's called the uh, excess PC R60 Raystorm um, that's the water block there um, under that I've got a 3570k which is overclocked to 4.8 well, actually 4.7 gigahertz now because I had to reduce the overclock because of the heat from the GPU I've got 8 gigs of Corsair Dominator DDR3 it runs at 1866 but it's default at 1600 MHz and I'm using the ASRock um, Extreme, uh, for Extreme 4 motherboard which is a Z77 motherboard so yeah that's pretty much it um, I wanna, if you hang around I'll show you some results of the water blocker
Let's go to the main entrance. There's a good shooting position there. I can cover a lot of territory. You're supposed to be immune to their... what? Influence? Oh, I don't have any gift. So hop along, rabbit. Head on in and look for the creature. I'm thinking that since the Dark Ones are so fond of you, it'll sense you, or smell you, or whatever the fuck they do, and come from hiding. Just try to stay in the open so I can cover you. We'll maintain radio contact. And if you have second thoughts, don't worry, I'll do it. I'm in position, I can see you. Something's still burning where the nest was. That's some fine wasteland. You guys sure did a good job here. There's no time to explore any options. Wait till you see the terrorist view. Oh, I expect to be blown away. Shut up. Ice peel. <laughs> 